There are few video game companies that will stoop as low as Activision in their pursuit for monetization. The notorious publisher has a long-standing history of shady business models, and they've only pushed the envelope further with their latest release, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The game tries to emulate a Battle Pass-style progression and monetization system popularized by Fortnite by tying its cosmetic rewards to tiers that players level up through as they play the game, but you don't have to play long to discover how progressive Progression was purposely slowed down to a crawl so that the average player would have no choice but to shell out cash to be able to reach the max tier within the limited time they have before the next seasonal event and earn the game's most coveted items. Even hardcore Call of Duty fans couldn't help but notice how terrible the microtransactions were in this game and how detrimental they are to the game's reward system, compounded by the fact that unlike the free-to-play Fortnite, this was a premium $60 product with an additional $50 season pass. Adding insult to injury was the level of stinginess and pettiness that Activision displayed by selling what essentially amounted to a red dot or a minuscule red circle for 100 Call of Duty points on Black Ops 4's marketplace. They actually charged a dollar for this reticle that took little to no effort to make and for what is essentially an item that amounted to nothing. There is no telling at this point what Activision is willing to strip out of their games and sell separately to nickel and dime players. Beyond stingy forms of microtransactions, something else that's got the gaming community riled up is an addition that was made to Black Ops 4 in a recent update. The following information was first conveyed by Reddit user Knight Meyer, who posted the following image showing new icons that were added to the game. Players who recently logged in discovered that next to the banner of some players and lobbies was an icon of a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark inside. It turned out that these markers were placed next to players who hadn't bought Black Ops 4's $50 season pass. At the time, the implications seemed clear. Given the lengths Activision has gone to with Black Ops 4 to make a quick buck on the side, the common assumption was that these were added to shame non-season pass owners. The assumption was that marking them with this unseemly icon was their way of calling them out and pressuring them into joining the rest by shelling out $50 for the season pass so they could have the marker removed. The backlash was immediate, and one look at the nearly 100,000 upvotes that this Reddit post garnered will serve as indication of how far and wide word about this has spread. Many also made fun of the fact that most players in a lobby seem to be marked with what was quickly named the Shea Marker, possibly suggesting that players who bought the season pass are in the vast minority. Others also poked fun at the notion that anyone could consider not buying Black Ops 4's dreadful season pass something to be ashamed of, with many touting how the marker is actually something players should be proud to wear. Now, while the narrative of the shame markers continued to spread in the hours following this Black Ops 4 update, Treyarch eventually took to Reddit to provide a response to the backlash and make an important clarification. Their statement reads as follows. This was a bug that's being fixed in an upcoming patch and should no longer show up. These triangles are only meant to display in parties, not public lobbies, next to a party member's name if they don't have all maps installed to let your party know why some maps aren't appearing in rotation. A more subtle indicator will be displayed in parties when the Black Ops pass maps are back in rotation as intended. In other words, this whole debacle turned out to be a misunderstanding caused by a bug. The markers are supposed to only appear in private when you're grouped up with your friends in a party so you can be aware of who owns the season pass and who doesn't for matchmaking and map rotation purposes. But by mistake, they ended up showing up in public lobbies, leading to presumptions that this was some intentional way of goading players into buying the season pass. It baffles me a bit that something so simple yet so volatile could be overlooked when releasing an update, but alas, this is the official explanation, and I cannot deny that mistakes like these can happen from time to time. Now, I get the sense that some will argue that this latest response is Treyarch's underhanded way of disguising a deliberately implemented feature as an accidental glitch, that they're trying to backpedal with a lie. But it's worth noting that players being labeled privately in parties when they don't have all the maps, when they don't own a 
season pass or when their content doesn't align with other players within that party is nothing new to the Call of Duty series. The feature has been there since as far back as the first Modern Warfare, and there are plenty of other shooters out there that have implemented a similar feature. Not to mention that Activision is the type of company that's so shameless in their scumminess that they wouldn't backtrack a conscious business decision just to mitigate backlash. The publisher has historically not given two shits about players' protests and have faced worse outrage than the one instigated by the so-called shame markers. We have seen how they didn't budge an inch when they were universally criticized for their handling of Modern Warfare Remastered, which was initially paywall to the purchase of Infinite Warfare, which resold old maps as DLC, and which eventually ended up adding microtransactions despite the original game never having featured them. Same thing with Black Ops 4. While they dialed back the amount of grind needed to reach max tier a bit since launch, it's done very little to mitigate the persistent fundamental issues surrounding the game's egregious progression, rewards, and microtransaction systems. And need I remind you that despite everything, Activision decided to sell a freaking dot for a dollar. I guess what I'm trying to say is that had the publisher truly planned to publicly shame players by allowing everyone to identify non-season pass owners, they would have left the shame markers in without shame or remorse rather than patch it out. So yeah, there are plenty of reasons to despise Black Ops 4 and to loathe what Activision's done to it, but the shame markers ain't one of them. It turned out that the issue was blown out of proportion, and I believe that as of the publishing of this video, the glitch has actually already been corrected with a patch. I will say this though, it says a lot about a company when people immediately assume the worst after a curious occurrence. While I do think it's important to strive towards not jumping the gun and directing criticism where it's warranted, I also do understand why it's so hard not to see malice at every turn when it comes to Activision's published titles. In the same vein as the boy who cried wolf when almost everything the company does exudes avaricious intent, even the few times they make a genuine mistake like the shame markers will seem like there was foul play involved. Activision has nobody but itself to blame for the seed of paranoia, doubt, and distrust they have planted in the minds of consumers. Had the publisher not been so notorious for their greed and shadiness, people might have been more open to the idea that the existence of these supposed shame markers was the result of an accident rather than another one of their underhanded schemes. But as it currently stands, it's damn near impossible to give Activision the benefit of the doubt, and so long as the company continues to be neglectful about the importance of consumer trust and goodwill, I have little doubt that this high level of scrutiny will continue to persist. With all that said, looking at the facts we currently know, it is important to acknowledge that as far as the shame markers are concerned, Activision is in the clear. There are plenty of good reasons to criticize the publisher, but it would seem as though this isn't one of them. Or at least these are one man's take on the situation. I'd love to hear what your perspective is on Black Ops 4's latest controversy in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.